was his arrangement of George Gershwin's Strike Up the Band. And what better way to kick off an evening of great big band music? spreads it all over the place because he's prolific and versatile. He's got, let's see, I think he's got two Grammy Awards and four Emmy Awards on his mantelpiece, as well as countless citations and nominations. He's an arranger, composer, a conductor, an educator. He's scored countless movies and television shows, and he continues to prove that the jazz band is a vital vehicle for composers of his caliber. I'm speaking of Patrick Williams. Please welcome Patrick Williams to the stage. like I'm using a lot of hyperbole tonight, I can't help it. It's just a fact, all right? I'm not exaggerating, it's a fact. For instance, now we were hoping to have, we were planning to have a very special guest tonight, Van Alexander. Van just turned 100 last month. He's the most dapper uh, centenarian I've ever met. And, uh, and a remarkable man, but he's a little under the weather tonight. He really, really wanted to be here, and he can't. Uh, and uh, we're sorry to miss him. So we have in his place one of his students, a young fellow who's got a lot ahead of him, a big future, if we can just bring him out a little bit and, uh, and wish him well. Uh, oh, wait a minute, he's already had a great career. I'm talking about Johnny Mandel. Please welcome Johnny Mandel. A 
What a lovely compliment to Tierney, and well earned, I think you'll agree. And uh, right now we're going to say hello to the man who's been the music director and guiding spirit of this program tonight, Tim Simonek, and with him, a special surprise guest, a man you all know, and if you have any brains, you all love, because he's not only a great singer, great musician, but he has been keeping the flame of great American music alive for many, many years. And he's now about to enter his second year as the guest conductor of the Pasadena Pops. Please welcome Tim Simonek and Michael Feinstein. I'm sorry that Van is not with us tonight, but I know that he's going to be okay. I think tomorrow I'm going to send him some green bananas. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's quite amazing. And this arrangement that he created uh, was one that I asked him to do, I guess it was about maybe 10 years ago. I was going to be playing at Carnegie Hall, and somebody suggested that I do tribute to Benny Goodman because of his famous 1938 Carnegie Hall concert. And uh, I called Van and, and asked him if he would do this arrangement for me of this medley. And he said, no, no, I'm retired. He said, I don't do that anymore. I said, are you sure? He said, well, what is it? I said, it's a Benny Goodman medley for big band, Carnegie Hall. He said, that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and he did it. And um, I'm honored and thrilled to be able to do it tonight with, with Tim, with these extraordinary musicians. And uh, we have to have our own Benny Goodman, of course, to, uh, to uh, recreate those amazing solos. And the gentleman in the green tie is the guy, Mr. Don Shelton. So. Because if you talk to anybody who knows anything about jazz and you say the name Bill Holman, you're talking about a living legend. 
You're talking about somebody who, well, for many people, will always be associated with Stan Kenton and his great, great band of the 50s and 60s. But he's written for everybody. He's written for Woody Herman, Buddy Rich, Count Basie, Jerry Mulligan. And he's led his own hard-driving band for years and continues to write fresh and original and compelling arrangements to this very day. And as an example, you're going to hear his interpretation of a song we heard briefly during the Benny Goodman medley, the great jazz standard, Stomping at the Savoy. Please welcome the one and only living legend, Bill Holman. <laughs> start doing some Tin Pan Alley and had a couple of minor hits and a little bit of action on the charts and then they had the great good fortune to meet Walt Disney who liked what they were doing they were writing songs for Annette Funicello and eventually he had them in met them and thought well maybe they can write other things too for some of the TV shows I'm producing for some of the movies I'm producing and the culmination of all that was their timeless score for Mary Poppins, which won two Academy Awards, one for Best Score and one for Best Song, which you're going to hear in just a few minutes. Please welcome the remarkable and the ageless Richard Sherman. Thank you, Leonard. The song you're going to hear, uh, which is called A Spoonful of Sugar, has nothing whatever to do with spoons and sugar. It has to do with attitude. It's a matter of uh, a nice attitude, a happy attitude can get you through a tough time. Uh, doing a tough job is much easier if you have a smile on your face. And, and that's what it really was saying. And so we were having fun with that, of course. Now, we all know the song. Everybody knows the song. Everybody knows the score. But. We know it pr primarily because of Julie Andrews' version of it from of the course. original movie. Yes. But I'm dying to hear this one because I know that we're going to hear something very, very special from this brilliant, brilliant man over here and these great musicians. I never, I must say, forgetting me for a minute, this is the most thrilling evening. This band is so superb. And <laughs> they play so professionally, so fabulously, flawlessly. And so for me, it's like a kid in a candy shop. I'm just having a ball, and to, um, to top it all off here, I get to hear a brand new interpretation of a, an old chestnut my brother Bob and I did so many years ago. I must say, I know it's going to be a lot different than Julie, the way she sang. <laughs> I expect that, and I know it's going to be wonderful. I just can't wait. Here is Bill Holman's interpretation of Richard and Robert Sherman's A Spoonful of Sugar.
there's, if there's one thing that I can say all of our guests have in common tonight is not one of them lives in the past. They have a great past. They could rest on their laurels, but they don't. Richard is as busy as ever, and so is our next guest, a return E to the stage. Please welcome back Mr. Sammy Nestico.